What's up everyone? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. So we are going to start our vlog off with our advent calendar. So we're gonna open the 22nd and we basically have two left and we are done. Another one of the original ones. And here, so two left and oh my god, it's over. Wow. Anyways, we are back again with this setup because I will be doing my makeup and just like, I'm just gonna do it short and simple. Do I wanna do my foundation? But first, we're gonna moisturize because we kinda need to. Okay, so we're gonna shave off my face first because they're kinda growing in now. My brows are so weird. When I was editing my video of like my winter skincare routine, I noticed how weird I put my lotion on, my serum on. And I don't know if that weirded you out too, but I don't know, I found it weird. <laughs> and I'm doing it weird again. So today we are going to do some last minute shopping. Last minute gift shopping because kind of slacking. Which I shouldn't have because now I'm regretting everything. I'm gonna do a time lapse because I have nothing else to talk about and I'll see you guys when we're about to leave. Okay, so I'm done doing my makeup and now we're gonna go to square one and do our last minute Christmas gift shopping. Okay, see ya. She kinda messy right now. We are now at Old Navy and um, we kind of bought well, we bought 70% of our gifts. So that's a success. I'll see you guys at home. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, swimming along down a what do you call it? Street. Street. Okay, so the last clip you saw, I think, was at church. So I'm gonna end it off because our day is done, and we're gonna start wrapping our gifts because we got more stuff bought that we need to wrap still. So I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow at Vlogmas Day 23. Bye. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. Okay, so we are going to open our advent calendar first before I proceed to this video. Um, so we have our second to the last box. So we're gonna open. This is 23. It looks long, but I'm pretty sure it's just one of those milk Napolitans, so. Not so excited. Yeah. 
I guessed it right. And I know for sure that this big one, the 24th one, is a bear. Oh yeah. I don't know why my parents chose such a boring ad encounter, but it's whatever. So for today's video, we are going to do a recap for every month of 2019. So the way we're gonna do this is by looking at my snap memories. So shall we begin? Um, okay, Chloe interrupted me. So I stopped filming. So we're gonna eat. Okay, so January, what did we do? I see a movie. Ooh, I think I watched Spider- Yeah, yeah, I did. I watched Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. We I love that movie. That was like, Aquaman. that was so good. I also watched Aquaman. So she finally got to watch Aquaman. I couldn't take it seriously. <laughs> He's so hot. Basically, January was just me preparing for my exchange in Yikes. Australia so Yikes. it was kind of uneventful but at the same time eventful because I had to go on dates with people before I left um yeah I was basically packing up most of the time Ooh, and I had my class my class registration for QUT and I remember in January before leaving it was like a week <laughs> before leaving it was literally <laughs> snowing really bad <laughs> Look at that. Mm. 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 Okay. <laughs> and February, the first of Feb, I went on my pre departure date with my best friend. On that same day, my friends decided to throw a surprise party for me at our basement. So that was cute. It was so extra, and that was so much fun. And I had to leave. So I left with my dad to go to Australia. He stayed there for a week. And then when he left, I kind of like had to break down because I just realized I was going to be alone for the next few months. So I tried looking for that snap, but I think I deleted it because I looked so ridiculous crying. So I met my friends for the first time. I went clubbing with them. Um, barely knowing them, they were all strangers. I think it was it was the first casual meeting for. It was like the exchange club that they had for people coming internationally. And yeah, it was the first week of classes. So during all week, it was so weird seeing a room full of white people. Um. Okay, next thing, mm. I mm. cooked lumpia by myself for the first time, and that was That's a success. I wish I still cook, but I was kind of lazy. More clubbing, more clubbing. I had a girls' night with my European friends. Oh yeah, okay, more clubbing. And March came along. So now we're at March. I went to Eat Streets for the first time, and I had authentic Filipino food, other than the ones I made. I remember going to Gold Coast by myself. Oh, it was the first casual QTFSA get-together. So we went karaoke and that was so much fun. I miss FSA. Um, oh, and projects came along. So I was really productive this month. I don't know what happened to me towards the end, but spoilers. Yeah, so then I turned 21 and my friends threw a mini surprise party and that was so cute. Hey, clubbing. We had our first QFYA meeting and that was so much fun as well. So basically, um, QTFSA, Griffith, and UQFSA, basically we all met together and um, we had this big Filipino gathering. That same day we went out and I tried soju for the first time. We went karaoke again that same day. The day after I had to wake up early for my first Horse race betting. That was interesting. I don't think I want to bet ever again because it was so frustrating. When I was so close, we went to Kulangara. Oh my gosh, I was cr oh I was crying a lot this month. I think I was watching Queer Eye. I had a test for what? 
I had a test for music production. That was a mess. Oh, and then, okay, oh my god, so many things happened in March this year. This is pretty cool. So, I went on a Byron Bay trip with QT Surfers. A lot of my fellow exchange friends went on the Byron Bay trip. I'm so glad I went because it was a lot of bonding time and I learned how to surf for the first time. So, that was pretty cool. Now, we're on to April. So, in April, more crying. I think I started watching on the block. It was raining a lot that month. I always got rained on. This was a lot of projects, a lot of all-nighters, crying. So it was also the mid-semester break for QT. It's like their reading week. And I went on a 10-day long road trip with my fellow exchange friends. So we went to Rainbow Beach. We went to Harvey Bay. Um, we went to Agnes Water, went surfing. Oh my gosh, and I remember my friends got stuck on the other side of the creek because Whoa. the water got too high because it was raining pretty hard that day. So they were stuck there while two of my friends and I had to drive around to get gas and like we kept coming back to see if they were there. And two hours later, <laughs> they finally got back. It was a long ass story. And I got to go sailing for the first time. We went for two nights. So we went along with Sunday Islands. And we also got to see the Great Barrier Reef parts of it. It was more of the ends of the reefs, if that makes any sense. So we're now in May. Immediately a week after we went to Townsville. And I went to my first music festival ever. So that was pretty cool because my first music festival happened to be in Australia. Some weird ass town in Australia so we went to Groove in the Moon that's what it was called we stayed there for like five days I got a lot of mosquito bites oh and we got to ride one of those Barbie cars so our Finnish friends got to drive we had another FSA meeting this was so much fun I think this is when I started hanging out with my Filipino friends and I wish I hung out with them even more <laughs> I went to Sydney by myself. So that was my first time traveling alone alone. I stayed at, at this very shitty share house. Like it was so disgusting. Um, I think most of the people who lived there were guys. All of the tenants were internationals. So they weren't they were only there temporarily. So they moved around a lot, that's why. So I went to Sydney alone because of Mechaland. I wanted to see something close as close to beauty con as possible. And yeah, so that was my first beauty convention too. So I walked around as well, downtown Sydney. I went to Sydney for the first time when my dad was there. And this was the second time when I went to Mechaland. Came back home and I cooked a lot this month too. And this was also the season for Raptors versus Warriors. I'm not big on watching sports, but like when it comes to Canadian or Filipino pride, I gotta go big and support. So. I started watching basketball because of this but I would love to learn about it and like be interested in it at that time I was so so proud and I was in Australia and everyone was celebrating back home and that's this is when I started getting sad but at the same time it was so much fun because I started hanging out with my Filipino friends so shout out to you guys Gazelle, Maria and Jason I wish I hung out with you guys earlier okay and that's it for me. So moving on, we are at June. Oh my gosh, June was my last month in Australia. I got to watch all games for the NBA Finals and I got to see the Raptors win live. I had like a 30 day free trial, I think, for um, this Australian sports Netflix type of thing. I forgot. But yeah, that was the only way I could watch the NBA Finals. Otherwise, I'd have to go really early at a sports bar in Australia because the game would start at like lunchtime and I don't wake up until then. Um, I got to pet a koala for the first time. We went to Lone Pine Sanctuary. I went with Maria. So shout out to Maria for driving me around. Thank you. Thank you for um, coming with me because no one else would. Oh my gosh, and I got to hang out with my 
European and American friends for the last time before they left because they left pretty early or a lot earlier than me I left towards the end of June and they left during the middle of June and I started packing I tried Messina which was very like hyped by my Austrian friend so she was really excited about that and that was our very 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 last meeting before everyone left there was a party at Luna's I also threw a party at my student accommodation rooftop but I don't have snaps of that I will try to find some when you're at when you're friends with <laughs> bags down everyone what aesthetic bitch good Time to leave. I bought a bunch of Tim Tams to bring home, but that literally got inhaled so quick. And then the day after I got home, I went to my sister's graduation. I didn't feel jet lagged, surprisingly. I don't know why. My sleep schedule just has been fucked up ever since, so maybe that's why. And then because I missed my friend's birthdays, we had like a mini gathering and we got a hotel room. We had dinner together at Cactus Club, it was very fancy. And then towards the end of June, we saw God 7 for the second time, my sister and I. It was so much fun. Okay, July came, Canada Day. I also got to hang out with Michaela on the 2nd of July. Yeah, we watched the movie, I think. It was Annabelle, The Creation? No, I don't remember which one it is. My mom allowed me to drive by myself for the first time um, since I got my license which was October of last year yeah I was driving a lot this month because we had family come over my sister was still at work so I was kind of like the one picking her up from work and I would be I would drive around my uh, relatives to the mall or just wherever they want to go oh my gosh and this was my sister's 18th so that's why it was like really big we had a picnic party and everyone came like people literally flew all around the world just to go to our party that was so much fun and then my sister and i would go around and shop for her dorm because she was moving in the following month it was the most stressful the busiest month ever we went to ottawa as well at some point with our relatives right after ottawa and quebec we went to Philly, I think, to visit my uncle because he was very sick. August came, went to Veld for the very first time. That was so much fun. I went with Joseph and Krishna and I got to dress really cute and be really, you know, fancy because we, we got the VIP tickets pre-sale, I believe. That was very interesting and fun. I would do it again. I could survive just going for one day maybe. And I started working at the office for the first time immediately after. So I started earning money finally because I was broke for the past few months, honestly. End of August, what was this? Yeah, I was just working a lot. Chloe was shopping a lot for her dorm. We helped Chloe move in at the very end of August, so August 31st. So that was my first time having my room to myself. <laughs> Lol.
September came. It was the beginning of first semester. The worst semester ever. I was kind of busy. I was basically just working and going to school and being productive. So nothing much happened in September. Oh, I went to homecoming for the first time. I know I'm in my fourth year, but U of T doesn't really do homecoming. So I went to my sister's university for that. We went to Guelph. Chance card. Way to start October. October, I'm already crying. I don't know what I was watching. October was pretty Hello. boring, honestly. I didn't even do Halloween on Halloween day. We did it the next day. The 1st of November, that's when we went on our Halloween party because it was a Friday night. Halloween happened on a Thursday night and we had we all had work in the morning. It would have been a bad idea to have parties on the Thursday. The next day, we went to a friend of a friend's Halloween party as well. So that's November 2nd. She doesn't have shoes. <laughs> I did my first professional-ish shoot at our group member's house. We did a two-day shoot. Um, that was interesting. Uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. And now it's December. You know what happened in December. You basically saw it. So I'm not gonna recap on that. That's it for my 2019 review. It's Christmas Eve tomorrow. But by the time you see this, it's probably going to be past Christmas. So I hope you had a great Christmas. And I'll see you guys for Christmas Eve.